G'day guys, back with another round of Facebook Scrabble games. Let's go straight into this one. So if you were watching the previous video where I was on this position, I uh, talked about how that I don't think my opponent realizes this is a hook. And um, we basically have been trying to play as many tiles as we can to try and get either a P or a blank first because it's a very high value spot so we picked the um, we picked a bonus out of the bag so that was quite lucky so we're just going to go ahead and play it whether it's through an L I'm not sure if that's available but you know it's not something you'd think about naturally because it's just so, so much better playing there than everywhere else, everywhere else on the on the board uh, the other, the exception to that would have been if there was a playable, um, something playable through this, because uh, this takes an E. We haven't picked, this, picked a P or the blank yet, so we're going to keep going for that. We're going to keep going with a the theme that um, we're going to just steal all the tiles and... Um, go on from there. I'm I was looking at this X to see if I could use it. This thing seems like Eutexia, Eutaxia, which are plays that you should know. And then there's this one, Eutaxite. So even though it's quite nice letters, I'm going to try and play as many as I can next turn. Let's go to the next game. Did not pick very certain we didn't pick any triple triples here. Um, we gave ourselves the best possible chance, and it didn't happen. So it's unfortunate. But we took we took the chance, and yeah, it didn't quite work out. So with the G, with the C, I only know this as Oregon. The N, with another R, things like or Orangia. Don't think there's anything through the N either. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, should I get rid of the G and just fish again? Or should I just play? Grecian. Co rain. Oh, I might just play. I don't think my opponent is going to let me do it anyway. Let me just hope I didn't miss a bonus here. So it was organize, origains. There's something with that S L. Something else. Ignaros. Yeah. Uh, happy face, which intent, which looks like it. Um, is the only thing available. Let's have a look. I don't think it makes anything. It doesn't make them anything, surprisingly. Pattern. Um, yeah. Nothing of the C. That's the only things with the S. No surprises there. If I had thrown the G and picked the I, you know, and there, there would have been absolutely nothing, and if I'd thrown the O and kept the G, you know, even though there was a word through the C, it wasn't going to happen. So, did we do the best thing? We probably did the best thing there for a tournament game, where the most likely you're most likely losing it anyway. Next up. Oh, am I going to have to count his, what his tiles are? I don't really want, I don't really want to, I want to be really lazy. Uh, 
Uh, let's just see how many vowels are in the bag. Three vowels. And that tells me he's probably got two of them. You'd have to have two of them, not three. Yeah. Can I play anything? You know, I might I might just let him have it. Um where do we play? What do we do? I'm looking at possible plays here, but I need to have the S and A B. If I had a T, I can have Ab Sit. Um, S's. Have I, have I got the last S? Uh, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is try and go out in two. So... It's almost sebastic through here. Sea biscuit? No. B is like the natural play, but it's not the best in this situation. And by natural, I mean, you know, um, you go, oh, what's the highest score I can get on the board for the least number of letters? Which is usually what you try to do, you know, best balance, etc. Et we need to get rid of these vowels. like all of them. So if I can play out say four vowels that would be good. I'd need a Y. So N8 is playable. It's very counterintuitive. Maybe ABBA. Now the reason I want to play Abba is just so it blocks any, it does block a bunch of bonus lines, it does score heavily. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Ugh. So he's got, two, yeah, he's got two vowels. Um, and he, now he can't play through this E. He's going to have to end something here. So without even knowing what he's got, I mean, you can calculate yourself, but it's just a whole reduction. Now, I might have stuffed up and the, um, but I'm too tired to bother. <laughs> um, and maybe the only playable bonus he had out of eight letters was on to this, and I should have done that, should have done something, but, um, well, we'll see. Maybe we'll get punished. Okay, going with our principles, yeah, playing playing out in two. So we left trait here. Uh, we left a, a spot for trait and arctic. And sorry, arctic. So arctic is not a misspelling of arctic, which is also correct. Um, it's a it, it's like a shortening of articulation, which if you've seen like double deck, double sized buses, things like that. Tire, R T, not yeah, not happening there. My opponent had a lot of tiles left. 
lot of heavy tiles left, so yeah, that was a little very puzzling way they were playing. I don't know. They would maybe they were just trying to get to three hundred. Go to the next uh, uh, reload. Um, it's almost a bonusy. Now some people do like to like fish for the bonus here, and I don't. It's actually against. Because I've found it to at the beginning to be better if I just play as many tiles as possible. So I'm just going to do that. I value the 18 points more than the um, more than the possibility of getting a bonus next turn. The thing is, 28 plus maybe maybe we got 30 this turn. It's the same as like a bonus. It's almost the same as getting a bonus. So. And then there'll be stuff to play here. Yes, so unable to play anything else really, having run out of vowels. I think my opponent is just taunting me now, going, I know you don't have vowels, but uh, so it's six here. Oh, we got via. So that's nine minus six is three, whereas this is six minus four is two. So this is better so far. So we're looking for a 9 with the G or for 10. Can't quite play a where -er. I think uh, this is it. No use to play on. He's gonna go out anyway, so Yep, so this has been a frustrating game. Just cannot pick anything, but that's okay. We'll just play. Uh, so I talked about this move the last game, we're just gonna go with it. Yeah, and it just keeps getting worse. Now I've picked the Q. Sometimes you just can't do anything. There are a lot of ads in this one. Go away. Um, yeah, absolute killer. No hooks here. My opponent will not. Though it's very tempting to want to play something like that. Um, I can't play the Q, so I think throwing out QD is best here. Just because the D does not synergize well with this S, these are all good. Should I have uh, played somewhere else? I don't know. I didn't even mean. I was hating so much on the queue. I didn't even look if there were there were things like playing for you know thirty or something. Oh well, almost fold away. We want to um, capitalize on that. Now I could play here, be quite cheeky and play there, but it doesn't really. Yeah, like there's five chances that my opponent has bonus, especially as I've just played this.
I've got my O that's been set up. You know what? I'm I'm gonna play four. The reason I'm doing this is I'm now gonna have the O hook here, even though exactly in the last, in just in the last game, I talked about you know <laughs> DNS with the bad synergy. But this gives me two options to play, and I don't really want to waste the S over here. Okay, that's that's an okay play. So I might play Koofs. It's gonna it's gonna get rid of all my nice letters, but uh, I think it's best. You play Fiods. I could it could backfire though my opponent could end up playing through here but in fact I actually want them to I want I want them to play like a QADI or something cuz then I'll be able to, excuse me I'll be able to use this spot now I don't think Koof is good is it no Cove cod feeds scoofed no uh well, that's it for this round of Scrabble Games, so hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.